Hey guys, what's up, Gemini? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. It's gonna be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, any outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energy can go uh, both ways. So this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So for Flopper, how you need me to. Alright, also keep in mind it's a general reading. So take what's yours. There's no rest behind. Just does resonate with you today. Please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. Looks like there's communication coming. Um, or just things moving forward in general. Because he was a Virgo. Gemini. Let me give Peter to the gym. Ten of Swords. So there could have been an ending. Alright. Alright. Pisces energy with the moon. Unknown outcome. Something you don't see coming. Show me this Ten of Swords. Oh, wow. All right. So you could be moving on from an ending. Um, could be with a Taurus. Could just be like a committed relationship. It looks like... Um, show me this Two of Swords. I mean, it's like... Yeah, there could be someone spying here as well. But why the Two of Swords? Virgo energy. So reflect where it is that you're trying to go. Because someone's kind of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Queen of Pentacles there. This could be job related, but it doesn't have to be. Um, it's like a path that you're trying to move towards, right? But there could have been an ending with this or, you know, feeling like there was some type of setback. So it's about going within and knowing where you're trying to go. But it could be work related or it could be, could be spiritually, could be with the tourists, something like that. But it looks like there's been some type of, of spying, probably, um, possibly ended because um, yeah, see, it's like somebody had to focus on their souls here. Probably could have tried to save up some money or things like that, but somebody has been very held back, very resistant, and does not, like, um, things to be not, things to be fair. I mean, things to be unfair. If this was a job situation or something like that, you may just have to, like, if somebody could be a student or something, like, study a little bit more. Because it could just be a situation that has you defeated, feeling defeated as well. All right, show me this King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. Doesn't have to be, though. Oh, wow. This person's all up in their head. Worried, nervous. They could be keeping up to themselves, but that could also be the reason for spying. Like, overthinking. Now, King of Wands is usually not one... That gets nervous. Why are they so nervous? Afraid to speak up. Mental imprisonment. Just got this on the brain like crazy. Yeah, all right. That's your energy with the Gemini or with the lovers there and the Six of Swords. So it's all about problem solving together and finding that balance. But show me the Six of Swords. Somebody's trying to move forward right towards you. There's a lot of sexual attraction here. Somebody could have moved or literally like be traveling, but this person's very um talking about this Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person's very attracted to you. It's like they just want to move on towards like a time of peace. But I don't think based on these cards, someone's not really speaking up here. You could have done what you needed to do, like for yourself, for your own good here. Show me this move for Gemini. The moon and the freaking sun. Pisces, Leo, energy. But the moon is like, it reflects off the sun, right? The reflection of each other. They are very close. Like, they're, um, they're opposites, right? Opposites attract the moon and the sun. But just based off of those two cards, I'm going to tell you, your energy is probably, like, going to reflect off each other. So, 
you know, if one person is like kind of shutting down, the other, the other is going to follow, or even if it's a situation. Um, but anyways, back on track with the moon that's hidden. So give me one more card. It could be, you know, things revealed, things manifested, things created, but there's happiness on the way with that Knight of Pentacles. It's Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, but it's coming slow as hell. There's an offer coming, it looks like, with that knight. Yep, see, brand new opportunity. Knight of Pentacles slows moving knight in the deck, but when he gets there, he or she offers something solid, and that's what this is, and it makes you happy as hell. But with the moon here, um, you could be keeping this hidden, or you may not even see this coming, because like I said, it doesn't look like somebody's been doing too much of moving. Um, more so worrying kind of just taking things in so you could be cutting something out and leaving it out in the cold while you're doing this what is the five of pentacles and it could just be that worry that you're leaving out hold on yeah i dropped the card all right show me the five of pentacles it's like you're realizing something. Um, and you're leaving something behind in the process. And it could be, yeah, see, you're holding back. Some of you guys may need to save up money for this new opportunity. But um, it's like there's a situation that either someone regrets or has just let them down too much and they're leaving that out this queen of wands can be like um especially with that lovers there it can be like um a mistress or the other woman type thing yeah see somebody could have been given to two people here but there is something getting cut out for this new opportunity or when it arrives yeah page of pentacles could be a job offer nonetheless it's an opportunity Uh, the Six of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So somebody is, is coming back around a situation that ended. All right. All right, Gemini. I hope this helps. Hope this resonated. Resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.